know, statistically, it's um, you know more than one one woman a year a week dies in in um, Australia. The statistics I think are 68 this year, um, up until the end of November. Um, so yeah, we really wanted to bring it up so that the community can see that that there's a real issue and that you know it takes a whole community to address the problem and not just women, not just men and not just service providers. A lot of domestic violence reports are not reported to police so unless we know we can't help people so I would say that people need to stop you know suffering in silence and put their hand up and say hey I need help and this is not right. Men have got a central role in that to build up resilience and the strength within the children. So we are role models for the kids. The kids watch us adults on how we work, behave, interact with the environment. So we've got to do things good way. For all of us living in our town, anywhere we are, it is a sad thing. So what's, for you as mothers, as grandmothers, what do you think? Well, I think the ladies who spoke this morning summed it all up. You know, we're going to make the community a safe community for ourselves plus the future of our kids. Every day, beat them, baby, beat them up, make them strong, lad, make them better. Look after the baby, I reckon. All our people look. save one another, love one another, protect one another from doing bad things looking after the children and too much drinking. And I've been working at the refuge for a long, long time and I've seen it within the refuge, the heartache and pain of, of the mothers and the kids that come through there. Uh, also, um, the, the partners, we need to do more with the men's um, side of the addressing the domestic violence in our town because we're working all the time with all the women and kids, but the big gap is that there's nothing there for all the, all the males in the communities. I don't know how small we need to go with children but what but with the kids as well. So that they learn up to grow up to learn that you know violence is not a, not an acceptable behaviour within our community. For me it was a very hard journey and it's really difficult to talk about it as you could imagine. But to see my children shrink, to see my life implode to see the sunshine fade, to see no hope is a horrible thing.